Ah oh dear, no music playing, so I won't get uh, copyrighted for this, right? But I thought I'd end the day with a draw result, right? So I posted a couple of things public on my uh, Facebook profile, right? Regarding the uh, thing that pissed me off this morning, because what is actually broken down to is that. A government department has illegally interfered with legal business with an American company and tax was being paid on the item. This is the point I'm trying to make. This is now going public, this video. Right. The UK government are almost begging the Americans for a trade agreement of some sort after the Brexit thing, yeah? But they won't even allow normal legal business between a UK citizen and Amazon. And taxes are being paid on it, like I said. But they're seizing the item, forcing Amazon to refund money. So preventing Amazon from fulfilling a legal sale, a legal transaction. <clears throat> now what happens when Amazon sues the government for, let's say, um, what what do that what are the rules are regarding that with trade agreements? Because I'm pretty sure that if they're interfering in legal business in a trade agreement, they have to pay a fine for, to the company. Because that's what happened in um, uh, Australia, wasn't it? When they tried to uh, ban cigarettes. And they got hit with a big fine uh, by uh, the tobacco company for illegalising their product. Because it was already in the trade agreement. So the government ended up paying the tobacco company for loss of earnings. <laughs> How funny is that? Right, so uh, a company in China going through Amazon cannot do business because the UK government interferes even though taxes are being paid on the item. Hmm. Oh, well, that's breaking trade agreements with China as well, isn't it? Oh dear, there goes their golden uh, trade agreement with China. See how this is going to work out now, don't you? Because I'm only stating the truth. <laughs> so the more people publicise it, sooner or later the media pick up on it, don't they? And think, hang on a minute, he's got a point now. And then they start digging into it. How many other business transactions have been interfered with for other people, let's say, for an example. And then it starts adding up a bit, doesn't it? It's not just my money what didn't get uh, taxed and the sale put through. It will be hundreds, if not thousands, and maybe even millions of transactions that aren't fulfilled because the UK government are interfering in that legal business. Not just on that item, but I'm sure on many other products as well. You know, it's, but that's not the point of it, is it? The point of it is they're telling you what you can have and what you cannot have when you order a legal product, which is legal to own in this country. A catapult, for example, is a legal product. They sell them in the UK. <laughs> right? It's not, it's not covered by any gun laws or anything. It's not covered by any laws. You can have one, you can hunt with it, you can shoot rabbits with it. Same as you can, you can own an air rifle. But Amazon do not sell air rifles and that. So that must come into importing gun laws. A catapult is not a gun. Right, simple as that. If he's got a fishing line attached to it, it's a fishing rod, isn't it? You know? The real gives it away. It's a fishing, hunting tool. 
<coughs> so there you go I think that's going to backfire spectacularly on the government after a bit of publicity and it's probably going to cost them a lot of money in trade deals because who's going to trust someone that impounds their products and goods before they even get to the customer who's going to want to do business with a government like that another government won't will they and companies won't will they so they force them to sign an agreement like the TPP one where if companies refuse business from govern if governments are refuse refusing to fulfill legal transactions between a company and a person that's ordered something then they get penalized for that the government get penalized for that for interfering quite rightly so So this isn't going to work out well for the government, is it? I'm glad I've come across this simple little problem that is going to cost them lots and lots of money in lost taxation from a trade deal, possibly. Hang on a minute. Didn't I, didn't I already contact some people in Nigeria alerting their government to what our corrupt government was like? back then, before I got in prison last time. Oh. <laughs> and they've even got the phone records where uh, I told the probation officer, don't, don't play games with my life. Because I've just done it back to the government. So don't ever try playing games with my life. And he corruptly got me put in prison. So... There you go, I'm just doing the same again, aren't I? Legally. Rebelling. With my dogs. Free. Let's have a look on Facebook Marketplace. Just for example. Right. Shut up, Marnie, a minute. I'm doing something. Where's the uh, magnifying glass box right there, rifle? Yeah. Rifle with sight. Do, 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 do. That's an air rifle with sight. Yeah, that's an air rifle with sight. Do, 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 do. Right, let's see what we got on here. Right. We've got one that needs repairing now. Free pest control. Outer casing cracked. Barrels intact. So it only needs what vice clamping shut and sealing, doesn't it? which you're going to put a laser on it anyway with circular clips so it's going to be sealed shut, the barrel's intact like I said so where's that come from? Colchester? Yeah, a bit out of my range here's one here, Bristol it's Glevelyn site Red green dot. This is uh, pellet guns and shit, isn't it? There we go. Rifle case, 50 quid. M16 gel blaster. No, I don't want one that looks like an M16, do I? Telescopic sight lamp. That would be what I would go for. 75 quid uh, Hawk Air Max scope Rifle pen, why is there a rifle pen on there? Uh, night vision 80 quid 
Haven't seen any actual guns yet though. So maybe it's illegal to sell them online, I don't know. It's a game gun, isn't it? Gel blaster, yeah. I don't want gel blasters or fucking M16s or whatever. Large competitive brick cater block gun, rifle. And Uzi pair. No, I don't want that. I want a fucking air rifle. Proto. F8 telephoto lens. So, is there no air rifles on here for sale on him? Have you got to go to a shop to buy one? Which you'd have to go to a fishing shop, wouldn't you? Product size? No, I don't want anything that looks like a fucking sniper rifle, do I? I don't want any confusion. I want an air rifle. No, that's a bit too military fine. Is that an air rifle? Toy vintage rifle. No, that's a musket type rifle. No good to me. Full boom mic. God, yeah. Rifle cases. I'm not selling any guns, though. So, what have they done? Banned selling air rifles online now and then. Like I said. Or is there just none available at the moment? Or are people just buying a lot of them at the moment and there's none for sale? I'll go and check some out when I go into town next. While I'm on here. Let's have a look for Very slow typing for some reason and it's slowly catching up so something's monitoring what I'm typing is what I'm getting from that oh and I definitely saw a rifle at the top of the page there before it went to cement mixers didn't I let's just go back a page Where was the picture that disappeared from the top of the page with the guy with the air rifle? Where's that picture gone? I caught that just as that was closing, so... And Colchester, Essex, is where the court case came from, funnily enough. So let's move it back to the cement mix, all right? Just funny I caught that, wasn't it? 50 quid, 120 quid. Shut up, Marnie, a minute, I'm looking. 50 quid, 100 quid. 
Oh, no, I just do my head in, boy. Hundred quid, Peterborough. Hundred quid, Peterborough. Thirty quid, Peterborough for an old battered up one that's still going to mix the cement in it, if it's working. Let's have a look. Thirty quid. Someone's probably bought it for that. Right, who's moaning out there? It's got to be Marnie, isn't it? Tension seeker. Cement mix of frames, selling as having a clear out cash only, please, on collection from Peter area. Genuine buyers only, please. Condition used fair, doesn't say if the machine's working, does it? It just says frames. I can't see no frames there, I can only see a cement mixer. Marnie, I'm going to shut the fucking door in a minute. Let's try that one. 100 quid. This did four weeks ago, no good. Ah, <sighs> Marnie, you're really starting to wind me up, you little bastard. It's nice to not have the dogs on the bed for a minute while my dinner goes down. Let's have a listen to this Muppet. She's always got something spiteful to say. A quick one on the online safety bill. <sighs> it says a preface, you know, in an age where facts it's are... like listening to your neighbour gossiping over things, isn't it? is an arrestable offence. And believe me, I should know. Um, point one is that whatever the government calls something... It's usually a misnomer. So if you're being sold something called the online safety bill to make you think that the world will become safer, that's usually just a badging in order to sell something that isn't quite as kind of kind or well-meaning. So for this bill, the online safety bill, what I actually read is the ultimate policing of speech at every level, at every conversation, in the privacy of your own home, all the speech that comes out of your mouth or is typed or printed or recorded is and will be policed and can be used against you. The second thing that I think is really important is the talking heads that are put out. If you listen, they'll keep sort of throwing out stuff that you would agree with. I would agree with. Of course, we, none of us want our children to be hurt. We don't want anyone to be abusing children. We don't want children to see things that might be abusive to them or harmful to them. We don't want people preying on our children online. Of course not. And that's what the talking heads will say. This bill is all about protecting children from abusers online. And you'll think, oh yes, well, I don't want that to happen to my child either. But of course, that isn't what this bill does. Because behind those talking points... This bill is the most loosely worded, if you could imagine, for example, a massive bowl that could catch everything, that's what this bill does. It's not detailed, it's not tailored down, there's no specifics. Essentially, if anything you say, write or type or think is projected and a powerful organisation wants to silence you or lock you up or prosecute you, this bill enables all of that it's just a big catch-all for that and i will give some specific examples because otherwise some fact checker somewhere will say that i'm spreading disinformation whereas actually i'm reading facts from the pages 
of the bill itself. The first thing is that it is just so broad. This bill is huge, as I was just explaining. If you wanted to do a huge catch-all basin, it absolutely does that. It talks about users to users, so you talking to someone else, maybe on, a, on an app or whatever, and the search function. So it's basically everywhere where there is speech of any kind online that is policeable now, and then punishable if it's seen to infringe other things that are totally loosey-goosey as well. People's every private communication can and will be policed. The second thing is this definition stuff. So the looser you make a definition, the easier it is to find someone guilty of infringing it because it's essentially anything someone wants it to be. And I have been at the harsh receiving end of this for a long time. I tell people when they say, oh, what did you do wrong? You say, look, you cannot rationalise with the irrational. We live in irrational times. There are irrational rules being made. No one follows a rule because it's all just irrational. They just make up what they want to happen. Um, so the definition here is um, types of legal but harmful content. That's a key phrase for you out of this whole bill. Legal but harmful. So it's legal but someone else can define it as harmful, which means you can't argue back. You're in no position to know what someone's defining as harmful because they can pretty much make that definition up for themselves. Then get this, content that's harmful to adults is content so designated by the Secretary of State that they have reasonable grounds to believe the nature of the content is such that there is a risk of having uh, or indirectly having significant adverse uh, psychological or physical impact on ordinary sensibilities. In every single one of those definitions, there is huge flux, huge fluidity. You know, it's designated by the Secretary of State, so she can, or he can designate what they want. Reasonable grounds. Well, they can always argue reasonable grounds. Mm. They just decide that yeah. those are reasonable. Mm. Uh, to believe, so that they only have to believe it. And I've been caught out under new law written just for me that use this exact tool. You perceive something, and if you perceive it, you don't have to. On the online safety bill, I would say, as you know, in an age where facts. Now, I'm starting this again because I've just shared the video. I'm referring back to the to the last week of it, and I've captioned it like I said: female ranting or implicating messages online now gets you arrested. That's usually just a badging in order to sell something. away there. What was that bleeping? This kind of kind or well-meaning. So. For this bill, the online safety bill, what I actually read is the ultimate policing of speech at that. every level. Well, the phone cradles up there. It didn't ring, did it? Of your own home, all the speech that comes out of Why did that choose to do that then? Or recorded is and will be policed and can be used against you. The second thing that I think is really important is the. Did you get that? Yeah. If you listen, they'll keep sort of throwing out stuff that you would agree with. Getting freaky now, isn't it? We, none of us want our children to be hurt. We don't want anyone to be abusing children. We don't want children to see things that might be abusive to them or harmful to them. We don't want people preying on our children online. Of course not. And that's what the talking heads will say. This bill is all about protecting children from abusers online. And you'll think, oh yes, well, I don't want that to happen to my child either. But of course, that isn't what this bill does. Because <clears> behind <throat> those talking points... This bill is the most loosely worded, if you could imagine, for example, a massive bowl that could catch everything, that's what this oh, bill right. does. Oh, right, so if I've got younger members of the family ranting down, about each other no over the phone or on Messenger, if anything you right, say telling me what's what and this, that and the other, and that, that, and that, 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 which to me is just gossip. I don't know if it's true or not. But if I agree with it, then it implicates me in whatever the fuck they're saying, doesn't it? So I just don't even open the messages. Simple as that. Somewhere will say that I'm spreading disinformation, whereas actually I'm reading facts from the pages of right, the you bill see. itself. 
how this actual bill works now already as she's explaining it it absolutely does that it talks about users to users so you talking to someone else maybe on a on an app or whatever right. and the search function so it's basically everywhere where there is speech of any kind online that is policeable now and so basically if i've got um to, uh, a female relative ranting on messenger about this that or the other because she's pissed off with her other half or something and um, and she's trying to implicate me in whatever she's trying to set my relative up with, isn't she? Just by communicating it with me. So I dare not even open their message, them type of messages. You see what I mean? Nothing to do with me. If you've said that in a message, then uh, I haven't looked at the message. Sorry. We live in if you've said something illegal, now you knew you were going to get yourself into trouble, aren't you? I warn people about it, but people won't listen. Now someone's actually saying it, describing it. But harmful content, that's a key phrase for you out of this whole bill. Legal but harmful, so it's legal, but someone else can define it as harmful, which means... You can't argue back. You're in no position to know what So if someone's communicated a message that implies harm in a message or something um, to another person, and then that person calls the police because they feel as though they're at harm or risk of harm or something, and there is no actual risk of harm, it's because somebody's maliciously sent that communication to somebody else, isn't it? So they end up getting arrested for it. Do you see what I'm saying now? Psychological or physical impact on there you go. ordinary sensibilities. Actually explaining In it. One of those Shut up, Marnie. There is huge flux, huge fluidity. You Let know, the women explain it to the thick women. So she can, or he can designate what they want. Reasonable grounds. Well, they can always argue reasonable grounds. They just decide that those are reasonable. Uh, to believe, so they, they only have to believe it, and I've been caught out under new law written just for me, that use this exact tool. You perceive something, and if you perceive it, you don't have to prove it. It's good enough. That's libel law right now in the UK. Right, so if you don't even look at the message, then you can't perceive it, can you? So I've already covered myself against this new law change. I mean, it's a, it's a minefield of nothingness. Don't send me messages about gossip or anything else. Don't want to know. It's only hearsay. But don't look at it. I'm not liable for your message. You're implicating yourself. Not me. Decided, you know, you're guilty Anyone you're chatting up shit you about, you're implicating them as well. And there is Stop no, what you're doing. No Shut your mouth. Your words are being used against regard. you by the state. Uh, so this is the duty of clause 12. They merely have to have That's all going to be on record in a court case, isn't it? Oh, yes, I have regard so that, it's someone that's pushing for a court case. That this person has infringed what is... Uh, legal but harmful. You see, there's just no win for any of us. This is going to be just glorious for the lawyers who are paid by activists and NGOs and powerful bodies in wow. order to take certain activists, people down. lawyers. Russell Brand, as an example. And mm. then, in in a kind of, in addition to all of this, there's a tiered system, so that formal news organisations and broadcasters, so not so not me, uh, are protected right. in some degree from this bill. But citizen journalists or ordinary people oh, who right. used to work only the normal people because they wouldn't turn aren't allowed line. to have an opinion. We they have to be told an absolutely opinion. Absolutely by this bill, we're not protected at all. Citizen journalists, That's nice bloggers, them, people they can't control, can absolutely be got at. By so this gossips can be arrested, silent, basically. Which, if you take Canada's example, Canada pays. If someone gossips over the fence, saying dirt, 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 dirt about someone. Controls. Um, the maybe the guy's mad or something and blah, 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 and it goes all round the neighbourhood and then the bloke hears about it and he goes to the police and says, well, this has been um, done to me um, against this new law. If it's uh, been passed around as a digital footprint by that person as well, 
uh, on some sort of social media that they use, very, very, very then they time. leave a digital trace it's and they leave themselves open in to investigation because everything Where is being watched. Is the new alcohol. And it's the right. People like Do you get what I'm saying now? Up and down the country. So that means anything you say in your home, on your uh, video channel, or yeah, whatever, as we look to speak freely together. comes open so to interpretation. Of the is it serious? Is it his very dark sense of humour? So even my sense of humour would be in question. Did he make this? as a weird comical video did he not is it a crime is it not a crime to be not funny <laughs> do you see what I mean can his words be an offence to someone else why can they they can put earplugs in their ears can't they the same as I have to if someone doesn't like the music I'm playing <laughs> do you see how it works so I don't really give a shit about um, what's uh, being planned by the government. But, um, yeah, that, that says exactly what I've been saying all week, basically, doesn't it? You know, people renting down phones and sending Facebook messages, affecting people's moods first thing in the morning. That's, that's harm. That's online safety bill. It's covered by that, isn't it? Correct. Right. So while someone was healing, someone was stressing them out with gossip and this and that. That covered that comes under that new law, the online and communication safety bill. Because it, it's being done over the phone, isn't it? Or an app. So basically, if someone's trying to set someone up in a court case, they get caught out because their every communication is being fucking monitored. And you've just had a female explain it to other females. In other words, he is right. Shut your mouths. They are using everyone's videos, messages, Facebook posts, YouTube, everything else against you for future crimes. That's disgusting. That's tyrannical rule. Now you get what my Facebook page is about today. <laughs>